Alrighty, guys. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Holy crap. Okay, so f I'm surprised I only died to the jellyfish once. I thought I was going to die to him plenty of times, but... Ah, oh, man. But, yeah. There you go. I beat the jellyfish. Well, actually, I'm going to level up right now. Let's see. Let's do... You know that. There you go. More health. More attack. One more attack should do. There we go. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go, dude. Oh, yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to... Wait. I need to go back to the lower crust real quick. Oh, before... Okay, I'm, I'm so close to being in the game already. But hold up. Before I continue, I feel like I'm missing something. Let me look around in the lower... Oh, yeah. I, actually, by the way, guys, if you're, if, you're, if you're wondering why am I... Why do I decide to go back to Lord Crust all of a sudden? Well, to be fair, all right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. I I I did research. The reason why it's because there's an achievement where um I had to get all, you know there's a PlayStation achievement where I had to get all the adaptations, and this whole time like I I'm I'm missing one adaptation. This whole time I'm missing one, and I thought playing the story like I'm gonna unlock it, but turns out that's not the case. Okay, yeah, that's not the case, guys. So the oh my gosh, I didn't even know that I didn't even know this whole. I mean, it doesn't matter anyways. I'm already close to beating the game or whatever. So, whatever. This whole time, I wasn't I wasn't able to uh get this get this you know ad adaptation early in the game. All right. So okay, if you're wondering why. So anyways, as I was saying, like the reason why I decided to go back to lower crust is because this is where the final adaptation is. Oh, what the crap! Oh, well, speak of the devil. There he. There's a guy I'm looking for. What the crap? His name is Eric. Eric. I think that's his name. Eric. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady on. Not one step further, mate. <laughs> They're gonna want to keep your distance. <gasps> oh, come. H. <laughs> H. How come? Your eyes full of sediment, mate. Can you see what I am? I'm the type of guy who hurts everyone I touch his mate. Oh, uh, th that can't be possibly true. Uh, hey, bet you just haven't found the right person to show your affection to yet. I, I could, I could give you a hug. M maybe that help you open up. Bloody shell, mate. You're an odd one. Take my advice and leave me be, savvy. <laughs> The crab, but Mr. Crow wants to hug you. Ow! <laughs> That's funny. Mr. Crow hug a sea urchin. <laughs> what did I bloody tell you, mate? Everyone's got the same store. Ow, Eric, can't be that pointy when you got such a sense of humor. And then what happens? You get poked just like the rest of them. Can't say I didn't warn you, mate. I won't. Give up. What? I won't give up. <laughs> Mr. Krill's hugging. What the heck, Mr. Krill? It's so weird of you to hug an urchin. I'm gonna hug you no matter what it takes. Look, mate, I really appreciate the effort, but I wasn't being metaphorical. You see the spikes, right? The physical spikes, mate. The spikes were well, the spike you. I've been through worse. It's your funeral, mate. Oh. All right, great joking around, mate. Uh, but seriously, stop it. This is a mite embarrassing. Oh, never stop. I, I can't just leave you like this. Look, I'm doing fine, mate. Trust me. I was just being melodramatic. I'm sorry I said anything. Just be on your merry way and forget this ever happened, all right? <laughs> Cod. I can't bear to watch. <laughs> Mr. Krill. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually funny. Mr. Krill hugging a sea urchin. <laughs> you gotta stop doing this to yourself. Can't you see I'm no good for you? You're wrong about yourself. Look, mate, I understand your desire to fix me. Perhaps you see something in me that you want to fix in yourself, eh? <laughs> but there ain't no getting around it. The two of us are fundamentally incompatible, Savvy. Ain't nothing healthy about two folks who can only hurt each other trying to stay close just to fill some kind of perceived void, mate. And it ain't no act of kindness to force yourself into someone's life 
And they've made it real clear it ain't the right call. I love it if this could work. But yeah, I just gotta move on. Sometimes there ain't no happy endings. Oh! <laughs> this, you ain't normal, mate. You were in no act of kindness to begin with it. Where it works. You're some kind of masochist. 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 Uh, either that, or you just get get off on watching my reaction as you fling yourself into harm's way over and over. I won't be enabling you no longer. Poke yourself to death for all I care, mate. I won't so much as bad an eye. Mr. Krill's gonna continue to hug you. Mr. Quill loves you. Mr. Quill is in love with an urchin. <laughs> Mr. Quill in love with an urchin. <laughs> Same with the Among Us. The Among Us is in love with the urchin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Oh. Alright, okay, okay. God, God. Mate, you really are a sicko. Take my special technique and get out of here, Frank. It is what you wanted. Did that make it all worth it? You find all sorts of types in the lower crust, but you really take the crab cake, mate. There we go. Finally, I found the last adaptation. Holy crap! Yeah, I I did have to do research to find this one, but yeah, I need, this whole time like I didn't even know. But yeah, this I'm, I don't know if you can actually get this early in the game or not. I think you can. Because when I was reading online, it says you can you can still find the, the urchin guy in the lower crust. But uh, I don't know. I think you can find him early on. So I, I, don't, I really don't know. But yeah, there we go. Urchin toss. Throw an urchin that sticks to enemies before exploding. Oh, what the crap? It's like a, it's like a Samtix grenade, huh? Wait, can I still, can I still hug him? Why are you still doing this? <laughs> Why are you still doing this? <laughs> Why are you still doing it? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was funny. Do us both a favor. And leave me alone, mate. Oh, I feel bad for the urchin. Oh, man. I Mr. Krill feel very, very bad. Holy crap. <laughs> that was so funny. Mr. Krill was hugging the urchin. Dang, you took a lot of damage from it, though. Honestly, I don't even know if you can... I mean, even if you find him early, you have to hug him for a long time. But, I mean, to be fair, like, you can, all, you can also heal, but still, like... Eh, yeah, I think you, you can still get him early on, very early. Like, you, you have to, like, heal, though. But, yeah. Well, that's cool, that's cool. Finally found the, the last adaptation. I finally got the last adaptation, and I got finally got that achievement Mr. Krill needed. Alright, let's see what this does. I'm gonna throw it, and not, not at Numa. I like Numa. I'm gonna throw it at this random green crab thing. I feel like he's gonna turn into a zombie crab soon, so I might as well. All right, gonna test it on you. Oh my crab! Dang, that's actually sick. What the crab? So this is the level one version. <laughs> Threat! That's the lady ramen head crab. <laughs> and of course, it's supposed to stick to like enemies. <laughs> I blow them up. Okay, that's that's so funny. So uh, I think it sticks to enemies too. So yeah, that's how it works. Interesting. There we go. I think I'm. You know what, guys? I'm. I'm more comfortable to just beat the game already. Heck yeah. But before I do, I'm gonna go back to Topada's Garden real quick. Really, really quick though. Oh shoot! I almost forgot. Darn it! I almost forgot again. I forgot to also sell some of my junk too. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go back to the lower cross again. Ready to learn some more violence. <laughs> what type of question is that? Topada. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's, let's, up, let's, let's fully upgrade this last adaptation, shall we? So the level... Urchin toss level 2. Throw an urchin nestic. Okay, yeah, we read that already. Level 2. Pulls enemies towards the urchin with the power of the tides. Oh, that's, a, that's actually pretty... That's pretty OP. Dang. So it acts like, oh, so it pretty much can pull nearby enemies into it. That's actually sick. Definitely gonna upgrade it. A sea urchin. When all else fails, evolving venomous spikes is never a bad call. And this one explodes. I'm not convinced. You learned that from observing nature. <laughs> and finally, level three. Size and power increase. Fully upgrade this bad boy. There we go. 
And that's it. Like, I maxed out. I pretty much maxed all my adaptations. Yeah, let's see what it looks like now. Oh, dang. It looks big. Oh, it has that little uh, magnet or that magnetic force effect. So it can, like, you know, bring nearby enemies close to it. Like a, you know, like a force, like a force pool. That's interesting. Like a magnetic pool. That's cool. Or I wouldn't say magnetic pool, but like a gravity pool, I would say. But there we go. There we go, guys. Well, I managed to max out all my adaptations in the whole game. And I managed to max out Krill's skills in the whole game. And I managed to find all every, every shell in this, in this whole game, too. Holy crap. I found literally every shell in the game. Heck yeah, Mr. Krill is actually very happy. Holy crap. Like, I'm most like, honestly, like, at this point, I'm, I'm about to 100% this whole game. So, yeah, like... PlayStation wise, I mean like PlayStation trophy wise. Heck yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, I did say I, I needed to go back to the uh to the lower crust. Alright, shell port. I'm gonna go back really, really quick. I just need to sell junk and I, and after I saw all the rest of the junk, gonna use all that all those remaining microplastics to uh upgrade or uh, to level Ah what the crap! <laughs> He ran me over! <laughs> what the crap? That's the first time that sardine ran over Mr. Krill. Like, it's GTA. <laughs> what the crap? That was so funny. Okay, okay. What the crap? Alright. Back to Pranathan. We got plastic. We got metals. We got packing foam. <laughs> sell that junk. Sell all. Sell all. Sell all. Sell all. Four car claws. Wow. There we go, Mr. Krill, super rich. Mr. Krill loves the moolah. <laughs> Mr. Krill really loves that moolah. Anyways, hold up. Oh wait, that's the shop, and okay, yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, dokie. Oh, okay, there. I'm done. I'm done being here. And now, um, okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. All right, there. Gonna go in my moon snail shale really quickly. Level up, and um, let's see. Let's figure out what I need to level up one last. And, and might as well max, uh, make it level 20, 20 fertility, more attack, and yeah, that's about it. That's how much I can afford. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Krill. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Level 66, like order 66. <laughs> Dang, alright, I, alright guys, I think this is the last time you'll ever see, uh, you know, my build here, because after this, I'm most likely gonna beat the game, so yeah, so, 20 fertility, 20 resistance, 26 attack, and I pretty much going to beat the game without loving up my MS3, so yeah, heck yeah, alrighty, alright guys, without further ado, the end game is coming, so let's start the end game. What the crab? What the what the heck? There's, I don't see anything there. What the crab? Okay, I'm back here. Actually, I should probably change my adaptations. And, darn it, it things I'm not really gonna use the urchin toss much. Oh, actually, what the what the crab? Like, I'm not gonna lie, the urchin the urchin toss would have been very helpful in the in the jellyfish fight. I just noticed what the crab. It would have been so helpful during that fight. I could have just. Throw so many sea urchins at the zombie, or, you know, the headless zombie crabs or whatever, or the zombie crab husks or whatever. But whatever, right? Uh, it stinks. I got the urchin toss so darn super late in the game, but whatever. All right, well, let's see. I'm gonna use my bubble bullet there. But to be fair, the tactical tentacle did a better job because it at least it, it it healed me throughout the whole fight. So yeah. Oh, wait, what the crap? Oh, it's war. Oh, it's giving me a warning now. Once you begin this scene, there is no going back. The game will no longer save. Be sure to make any preparations you need for the final confrontation. Are you sure? Are you? Are you sure you wish to continue? Well, guys, here we are. This is the end game already. Oh my crap! I'm so happy to. I'm so happy to beat the game already. Holy crib! I'm not. Gonna, I think I'll be fine in this final fight because so far I I fought the. You know, I fought the, the, the king, the ancient king crab or whatever. And, you know, like, I died to him once. But that was because of this first phase. And, you know, I beat, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard of a fight. 
I think the hardest, I th honestly, like, out of all the fights, I think the hardest I ever fought was the Inkerton fight. I think the Inkerton was, was pretty challenging because he was shooting at me and all that. They let me heal. I died to him a good amount of times. And yeah, like, I think the Inkerton fight was, was decently a, a challenge to Mr. Krill. And of course, I, and of course, I know I know what you guys are saying. Oh, but what about the the pain in the butt splitter? You know that that the first boss I just or I, technically that's not the first boss I fought. Technically, the first boss is is Captain Ethro or whatever is Afro. Yeah, him. But yeah, that that was the first secret boss, and I, yeah, I died to him a lot of times. But at the time, I was very low level, and of course, you know, I never played a Dark Souls game before. And of course, after you know experiencing you know Nerd Crab's treasure for a long time, you know, I got. In, got the hang of the combat and everything like if i were to go back and fight him like i i would be able to you know i would be able to beat him you know i would die i i, I mean to be fair i died to that guy i died to the pain the butt spirit so many times but it was also it was mainly because i was low leveled and yeah and of course i was i was a noob at um you know dark souls games because i don't really play i don't even play, like, this is technically my first ever dark souls game i i played so yeah I did play a little Bloodborne back then, but t still, like, I didn't really, uh, I just stopped, you know, I, I only played Bloodborne for, like, a little bit, and that's it, so, yeah. Mr. Krill is gonna continue to hug you. Mr. Krill loves you. Mr. Krill is in love with an urchin. <laughs> Mr. Krill in love with an urchin. <laughs> Same with the Among Us. The Among Us is in love with the urchin.